We have a lame duck session. You're going back tomorrow, I assume, for that. Uh, and there are some real issues to be addressed, such as continuing the government. There's a funding issue coming up on December 7th. President Trump was asked about the wall and how that might be related at his news conference last week. This is what he said. You toyed with the idea during the campaign of a shutdown before the midterms in order to secure border wall funding. Are you prepared to go on a shutdown strategy during the lame duck since this might be your last best chance? Not necessarily. To secure no that? Sense. Look, I speak to Democrats all the time. They agree that a wall is necessary. A wall is necessary. And as you know, we're building the wall. We've started, but we should build it at one time, not in chunks. So, Congressman, what is the likelihood, possibility of a shutdown at this point? Uh, I don't think there will be a shutdown, and I think we'll reach a compromise, and there may be greater border security funding, but I don't think we're going to be building a wall. I don't know whether the funding will be for a uh, period of time until the new Congress is seated or whether it will be for the rest of the fiscal year, probably for uh, several months, but not for the rest of the fiscal year. Uh, and what about the agriculture bill? Because there's an agriculture bill as well that is, is pending that is quite important for certainly farmers across the country. Uh, there is, but I think that will ha have to involve compromise as well, David, regarding uh, food stamps, the SNAP program, and that is an important concern to many of us. Uh, how much do you expect to get accomplished in the lame duck session? Uh, I think we will fund the government, will be the principal responsibility of the lame duck session, and then, of course, the new Congress will come into office the first week in January. So let's talk about what happened last Tuesday across the country, not just in your district, across the country. Uh, looking at it, at least anecdotally, it looks like moderates uh, did not do well if they were Republicans, but did better if they were Democrats. A lot of the Republicans who were elected, particularly in the Congress, were more on the right side, uh, out on more on the fringe, whereas the Democrats, who were more left, didn't get elected, whereas the ones in the center did. Is there been a shift? Um, I think that uh, what happened last week was not necessarily a, a blue wave. It might have been a green wave. There was a great deal of, 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 of funding uh, for the Democrats, uh, uh, millions and millions and millions of dollars. Um, and I'm, I'm sorry that um, moderates lost because I think that we are really the future of the country, centrists uh, in the middle. And this is particularly true in suburban areas, David, around major metropolitan centers. Have the Republicans lost the suburbs? Is that too harsh a statement? Because it certainly feels that way as you go across the country. Uh, I think we have to do a much better job in the suburbs, and I'm committed to doing that moving forward. And I think the president's tone should be uh, not, not as strident as it has been, and I think that was uh, part of the situation. And also, of course, there is the typical situation in the first midterm of a president that uh, his party loses in the House of Representatives, at least loses seats in the House of Representatives. You have been part of something called the Problem Solvers Caucus within the Congress of, of centrist Republicans who are really trying to solve problems, as I say. Where does that stand at this point? Have you lost momentum because of this last election and because of President Trump, frankly? Uh, I, I hope that uh, new members will join the Problem Solvers Caucus, but uh, several of us uh, were not reelected. Carlos Cabello in Florida, for example, Mike Kaufman in Colorado, uh, and, and uh, my situation in New Jersey. Also, uh, another centrist, Eric Paulson in suburban Minneapolis, St. Paul. And, and certainly we have to do a better job regarding those areas of the country. And what about specifically the state and local tax deduction, which is something that you were outspoken about really disagreeing with President Trump and the party, the Republican Party. If you look around, a lot of people uh, really, I think it's fair to say, lost their jobs over that issue. I mean, there are usually six Republicans in high-tax states lost. Well, their jobs. well, the, uh, the, the, there were four, four changes of seats in New Jersey. I think there may be four in California, and I hope the new Congress will uh, make sure that that is improved with a complete deductibility of state and local taxes. If it passes the House, however, David, it also has to pass the Senate, and that's a challenge. And that's why I think we need more centrist Republicans in the Senate, because even if it passes the House, as I hope it does, it has to get through the Senate as well. As you look forward in the Congress, um, uh, in the new in the new Congress, I should say, um, what do you think can be accomplished? Do you think de Democrats can join with the president and with Republicans to get things done, like, for example, infrastructure? 
Uh, I certainly hope that is possible. I don't want a Congress that deals exclusively with investigations and uh, there is some talk, I think, not uh, talk at the moment that should occur regarding impeachment. I want to await the Mueller investigation report. I don't want a Congress and the American people do not want a Congress that engages exclusively in, in investigations. We want to move the nation forward and certainly infrastructure would be an area. So uh, give some advice uh, to future Republican candidates uh, that might be in your sorts of situation from a relatively moderate district, not on the fringes. And you have a president who's very outspoken and was not shy during this election. He went out and said a lot of things about immigration and other things. Uh, how do you run as a Republican when the leader of your party may not be helping you much in the uh, election? I, I think you uh, run based upon what you believe. You run based upon uh, what I think is important from the center, and that would be joining the Problem Solvers Caucus, if that is uh, where you really are philosophically, as I have always been, and as I will continue to be, and I will continue to fight for a Republican Party that is responsible, that is internationalist, and certainly where the tone and tenor is based upon respect for all individuals based upon civility.